Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another Mod Bros video. In this particular video, we are going to be going over my long shot. This long shot has been with me for, I believe, three to four years now? That sounds right. That sounds right. Yeah. About three, three and a half years now, and it has been used to be my workhorse blaster, but then I started building more recons and alpha troopers, and so it's gotten a little bit less time in the light from it, but I still want to make a video about it because I definitely think it's very cool of a build. This blaster has seen multiple different shells that I've gone through, finally settled on a nice yellow and strike long shot shell because it's my favorite. It's personally my favorite besides the crimson one, but uh, I don't got a crimson long shot. Probably never will either. Uh, but yeah. So. It's also been more of my experiment blaster, so whenever I get like a new idea of a scar, or a breach, or a spring combination, it's always just like, eh, throw it in the long shot, because it is a workhorse. Everyone who's a modder in the nerf scene knows about how good a long shot is, and this is mine. So, to start, as you guys can see, it's clearly got a pump grip edition, and this pump grip is a combination of a old yellow and straight recon slide that I then cut and use these wooden bars to go back to the bolt sled and I have also a ion fire handle that I just glued onto the bottom to give it a nice little, nice little good grip. Tucker doesn't like it but I think it's very comfy. It makes it very easy to process. These internals are a workhorse. Inside of this I not only have a brass breech which then leads to a copper eight string quarter turn scar but as you guys might have also been able to tell just from looking at it, is that red bolt slit and that red breech I have the orange mod work immortal kit and this immortal kit has, has this immortal kit has done its time it's quite the tale to tell uh, a, a wee little lad of younger me going going to thrift stores trying to find some cool finds I go into a thrift store that is a Salvation Army down by a savers that I'd never really go to. But I finally was just out and about that day. So I was like, eh, I'll stop in. So I walk in, takes me forever to find the toy section. Cause it's back hidden away in the corner. Like on a shelf. Yeah, it's like a shelf that's at the very bottom, hidden away back in the far corner, behind all kind of like dish, dish stuff. Mm -hmm. And like weird clothing that I've never seen before. But finally I find it, I'm looking through, they have like three bins. And I'm looking through it and I see out of the back, I see a long shot stock sticking out. And I'm like, oh, hey, a long shot. That's kind of cool. And as I grab it out of the bin, I see those giant red handles that come with the Immortal Kit because they have the expanded uh, prime rods out of it. And I'm like, that doesn't look like a normal long shot. And then as I pull it out, I look inside and I'm able to see the Orange Monworks logo that you guys probably can't see, but it's right there on the breach. Nice little Orange Monworks logo. And then it hits me. Oh my god, this is an orange model thing. Okay. And when I have it, I'm like, oh my god, I have to have it. And so I start fiddling with it. But it won't prime for some reason. It won't even go back. And so what I assume to be is some kid got the long shot, got the immortal kit, tried to put it together, couldn't get a torque, and just said, forget it, donate it to a thrift store. And so I found it for a whopping total of good old 99 cents at a thrift store way cheaper than it initially came out for and I love it to death. It was the first blaster that I got to hit 200 FPS. It's the first blaster that I started making brass breaches for and it rocks. This thing hits so hard and I love it. The spring combination is around 10 kg springs because I have a combination of I think three right now that give me a really nice spring combination. The prime you guys saw it there. The prime is buttery smooth. There's like no resistance whatsoever. There's a resistance map because it's dark. But yeah, it's so smooth of a breach. And it feeds really well from the mag. It will feed full lengths and half lengths. So I've got two elites in this mag. Close it up. And it fires absolutely amazing. These are all 200 FPS shots that are going laser straight. And just to prove it to you guys, I'm going to open up now and show you just all the internals that I have inside this. Alright, so here are all the internals. Do you guys want to take a look? So I have the metal trigger, the immortal catch, immortal bolt sled, and immortal breach 
and Plunger Rod and the Mickey Mouse Spring Rest piece. I do not have the Immortal Immortal Kit Plunger Tube simply because, as I said, this was an experimental blaster and I experimented with drilling a hole here to help with the vacuum release and it works well. I just haven't taken the time to do it to the Immortal Plunger Tube and put that back in. So this works for right now what I have and then I'm going to take this all out for you guys so you can see I have a 17 seconds brass barrel which couplers into the 9 16th that is back in the breech and up at the front a nice little copper scarf for you. Very simple internals, nothing too fancy, just a good old fashioned brass breech and it's good to go. Now with the local wars we play in, the FPS limit is 200 FPS so I could probably add heavier spring combination to this thing relatively light compared to some people's and I could probably get a bit more performance out of it but like I said I don't really use long shots anymore and we play at 200 FPS so it's already there so I'm gonna put this thing back together for you guys and then we're gonna go out to a shooting test oh I will though you guys can take a look at my pump grip right here very simple made and now we're good to go all right, so we're going to move on to the shooting demo for this video. I'm just going to fire off three FBJs out of my long shot. Just down the road so you guys can see how far they're going. I will say, though, there is a headwind. So let that be known. If we're comparing range performance between Tucker's long shot and my long shot, I'm firing up wind, all right? <laughs> uh, did, you, did you do an angle for your long shot? Very slight. Very slight. All right, we're going to give it a slight angle then. Just uh, fire it on there. They might be curving just a little bit to the right because that's where the wind is going. Mm -hmm. But all oh, very like consistent. Very consistent. <laughs> all landing <laughs> right in the gutter down the road there. And as you guys can see, all three guys fire off with no jams, no issues, and no misfire. Alright, so how far did your long shot go? Second tree, two after the second tree. I mean, mm, correct me if I'm wrong, there is a video. <laughs> but. <laughs> Second tree, and then two of the darts went past oh, the second okay. tree. Mine uh, have two before and then one at the second tree. Yeah. So average, a little shy of the second tree, but I'm more than proud of that. I don't use this long shot ever. I haven't done maintenance on this thing in a very hot minute, so could probably get better. Also, could probably be better if I upgrade the spring, but. As yeah. I've said several times, I don't care about this long shot anymore. I, I'm keeping it because everyone's got to have a long shot. They're a testament to Nerf modding, but at the same time, me. <laughs> Alright guys, that's going to be the end for this video. You guys, I hope you like looking at my long shot, and I hope you guys like your own long shots if you got them. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check us out in the next video, guys. Bye. Someone called me inbred. <laughs> <laughs>